Luxury Railway Travel, A Social and Business History by Martine Pring. So this is one that, that does, again, have a focus in Europe, but there is talk of like the railway um, history a little bit in the States. So you do get a bit of that. So if you are looking at like American railway history, you do get a little bit of it in here. Um, starts in 1860 to 1900 in Victorian England, the, um, where the emergence of luxury travel. Um, so like an, as an experience rather than got to get from A to B. Um, primary quotes. So it's n not just focusing on like England or Europe. Like I said, there is a bit of USA. Um, you also get like primary um, imagery. So photos, promo posters, like advertisements um, and other types of sources. Um, you do get a focus on different time periods, mainly in England or the UK. Um, so like to Scotland and Ireland. Um, so it's basically from 1860 to pretty much today. Um, comparison to a few other countries, trains and systems. Um, and the look of the growth of luxury travel on train. <laughs> so want people wanting a different experience on trains. So you get 19, 1860 to 1900, 1901 to 1920, 1921, 45, 46 to 75, 76 to 2000, and 2001 to present. Um, so you get like the promo pic kind of like that. Um, you are getting a textbook almost explanation of everything. So, the routes to Scotland, West Country Allure. So there's like two, three appendixes. Um, so yeah, um, really great for those who really have an interest in railway or train history. Um, or modes of transportation throughout time. So this can be a really great help for those who are doing, say, like research or a project on a topic around that. So yeah, luxury railway travel, happy readings.